Hey guys, Puma Pete back with another pickup video. This time I got a little bit of everything. I've got some stuff that I picked up at one of my favorite pawn shops. I've got some eBay purchases and I've got some stuff for one of my all time favorite, the Atari 2600. Can't wait to show it to you. Stick around. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Having grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Okay guys, I want to start with something that I picked up at the thrift store here in town. You don't get too much there, but from time to time that you do pick up a real gem there, like for example, 64-bit got me those two Harvest Moon games there for two bucks a piece. I like to stop now and again. A lot of times all I get is sports games and such, but this does seem kind of ironic to me. I picked up a copy, and I've talked about the soccer games before, of FIFA 06. I love the game, uh, but it is just a soccer game. They're not worth a whole lot of money, but it always I find it very ironic to go back and look when they still have the original price tags on them, and it's $49.99. So $49.99 in 2006, and I got it for two bucks. I don't know, there's something about that I really like. You walk in as well to a pawn shop, and uh, not a pawn shop, a thrift shop, and it's in really good shape. A little bit of writing inside the case but nothing serious whatsoever. Got to have it for your collection, and to be quite honest, they're a lot of fun to play. Now the next batch of games I picked up at one of my favorite pawn shops in St. John, New Brunswick, Beats and Bites. I go in there once in a while, and you get like a little bit of a discount as long as you buy five or more games, so I almost always pick up bundles of five. They keep putting new stuff out all the time, but it usually is quite a few common games. I always look for some of the better non-common games. Anyway, here's what I picked up this time. Okay, the first game I picked up was Knight's Apprentice. Set in the Arthurian legend. Uh, any game that's set in the Arthurian legend is going to be very interesting for me. I love that story. I love films like Excalibur. Not so much the more modern ones. Actually, of all the King Arthur films, that's the one that I think sets the bar for all others. If you have not seen that, it came out in like 1988 or 81. Uh, I can still remember, I'm sure it was actually 1980, because I can still remember watching the advertisements for it when I was a kid, uh, watching the Montreal Canadiens and Minnesota North Stars play hockey in the semifinals that year in Montreal Lost, which was great. Anyway, uh, that being said, Knight's Apprentice, um, this game is, I picked it up, it's really good shape, got it for like four bucks, how do you beat that, and it is an Xbox exclusive. Check it out. American Chopper. I've talked about the American Chopper games before. Build a bike, show it off, drive it around, be done with it. I'm done with it. American Chopper. The next game I picked up was 187 Ride or Die. First of all, when I get an alphabetical list of all the different games, I'm quite sure this is the first one on the list. So I wanted to get it off because I kept hating, hate to look at my list in my app that I use and see the very first game I don't have. Now I have the first game. I guess I should go for the last one next. I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is a game. It's a racing game where, again, you battle the cops. And 187 stands for murder and you're fighting. And I don't know. It's just a, a fighting game, like, with racing involved. But, man, it's in immaculate condition. But a great shape. Absolutely great shape. Really happy to add that to the collection. The next game... Total Overdose, A Gunslinger's Tale in Mexico. It also comes with a Tomb Raider Legend uh, exclusive bonus DVD inside. And both are there. I always sort of look when you have a case like this to see it's in good shape. This one's in great shape. Book, disc, everything looked great. It's a, uh, a third-person sort of a uh, Grand Theft Auto style game set in Mexico uh, in crime and... Uh, you're a criminal and with drugs and um, you know the thing that really sort of I remember the most about it is that it was supposed to have a sequel and uh, the sequel got cancelled but the sequel would have had the absolute most awesome name in the world it was going to be called Total Overdose Tequila Gunrise that would have been great but we got this one I'm happy to have it now the last one's a bit of a controversial game uh it came out with moderate ratings, but at the time it was really heavily promoted. It's True Crime New York City. 
What's really interesting about this is part you play as a former criminal gang member who's turned into a cop. And as a cop, you can go either towards being dirty or towards being good. And you're given ratings towards which way you go. And this game was that they call for a boycott of this game. The New York City Police Department actually did. What is it? Instead of calling them NYPD, they called them PDNY. Anyway, point being is they call for a boycott of the game because it encouraged people to be dirty cops. I see it around quite a bit. It's not worth much money at all, but I never see any really good copies of it. And this copy's in pretty good shape. Hmm. I think I said the receipts in it. But actually, that, that's just for me buying those games. So the next three games that I picked up actually came from a fellow who I've known for a little while. Not real well, but he sold games at a place at one of the markets, flea markets, up in uh, St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, for the last several years that I've been going up, I don't get up there very often because it's only one day a week. And it's about an hour, an hour's drive to get here. So I don't get there very often, but I got up there, I was talking to him a couple weeks ago. And his name, he has a business called Gates Games. Great guy to deal with, very fair with his prices, gives good trade-ins, and I was talking to him, you may see in the future, we're going to do a little bit of co collab, and I'll do maybe some interviews with him, and we may work together on some of the things that he's really interested in, and um, do some like top fives, top tens, because I know he's right into some other systems, like, well, like the NES or the Atari 400, uh, different things. So you may see him here on the uh, channel in the future, we're working on it, we'll see what happens. In the meantime... What I picked up from him was Splat Magazine Renegade Paintball. Not a real highly rated game, but not a real common game either. I don't believe that I'd ever seen it until I saw it there. And he gave me a good deal on him. I bought uh, three different games. So just a paintball game, uh, typical uh, Call of Duty game without real bullets. The next one, Blinks, the Time Sweeper. I'd heard of this game, obviously. Blinks is a very popular platformer on the Xbox. They tried to make Blinks one of the mascots for the Xbox, but it really didn't pan out all that well. They did have two games, but this one wasn't all that highly rated. Um, overall, though, it's still quite popular, right out by Microsoft Game Studios. And this particular one's in really good shape. Xbox exclusive. Just didn't become the Crash Bandicoot of the Xbox system. The final game I got from uh, Aaron Gates was Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. We all know the Raven games, you've seen them before, good platformers, solid series, uh, all the games are decent if not great. Um, this is just one of the third one in the list, uh, I think it's only the second one on the Xbox. But this particular one is in really excellent condition, very happy to add it to my collection. So like I said before, I got these games from Aaron Gates uh, at Gates Games up in St. John at Rhoda's Flea Market. So hopefully you see a little bit of collaboration between he and I in the future. We'll do a little bit of interview, find out what the game scene is like around this part of the country, and also maybe get a little bit of insight in some of the other systems or some of the systems we already know or some of the systems maybe we don't look at quite as often. Anyway, we'll see that in the future. The next thing that I picked up is kind of funny because I actually did a whole video on finally getting one of these. What I'm talking about, of course, is I picked myself up another NES Classic. How ironic is it now that I go into all the stores and I see them everywhere now, so I picked this up for regular price up in Moncton or St. John or someplace. And now that I have a second one, I have a first one put away, I'm going to actually play with this one a little bit, see what I can do just to toy around. Uh, just a great thing to have. They're great first party software, first party creations. Uh, it's not like the junk that is made by these third party companies on the different systems. So. It doesn't get any better than that. The last couple things I have to show you today are, first of all, I've got an Xbox game. This is one that I've been looking for for a long time. I finally gave up. I've been watching for it, watching for it for good prices. I look forward to too many games. I found a couple copies, but not too many, but they're a little bit more than I was willing to pay. I found a copy on eBay that was right around where I was willing to pay. Is it chancy? Maybe a little bit but it's a game I was really looking for. I haven't opened it yet. Let's take a look. All right, guys. What I've got is a copy of Arx Fatalis. I have been looking for this game 
for a long time. Looking real quickly at the case. The case is a beautiful shape. Really happy with that. There's the manual. Still has the card inside. And the manual is pristine. This looks really good. Third person adventure game. Is it third person or first person? It's first person adventure game. Uh, on a lot of uh, hidden gems lists. Um, so happy to add this to my collection. It's a very dark, spooky, uh, ancient settings. Enter a world of darkness like no other. I'm very excited to get this game. I can't wait to play it. Right on. Sometimes on eBay, you take your chances. You win, you lose. This is on there for 40 bucks all the time. I got it for 20 and it's perfect. Right on. Okay, here's my last pick I'm going to show you today. I was really excited to get this one because it's another one added into my Activision collection for the Atari 2600. Just like Arx Vitalis, you're always taking a bit of a chance when you buy something off eBay. But here's hoping. Let's take a look. Wow, that ever well packaged. Here we go, take a look. It's really wrapped up amazingly. And here it is. Commando for the Atari 2600 by Activision. And that box, let me tell you folks, is in awesome shape. Buy it now. That was a buy it now, I think it was on for 25. You see it anywhere from 10 to 20. I put a buy it now in for 15, and that's what I got it for. So happy. I think of the 44, 45 Activision, I think this might me, might put me over the halfway mark. I'm so happy to pick that up. Right on. Just a classic, classic game, whether it be on any of the console systems or on the arcade. Commando. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, that's it for this pickup video. That's all my pickups. What a great batch this time. NES Classic. Great games for the Xbox, including Arx Vitalis. Been looking for that forever. And Activision's Commando. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, guys. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today. I'm going to go play some Commando. Take care, guys. Grown up by the watch Papa Chew. The old guy game.